Following their win against the Bruins, the Red Wings set off on a seven-day road trip to Buffalo, New Jersey, Boston, and Pittsburgh. The team struggles, dropping all four games. Detroit heads into the following week, slated to face original six rival, the Montreal Canadiens, in the final game of their regular season series, in which the Red Wings have won the first three. Our details and what makes us good, I think that's, um, you know, we're getting pucks in deep and, and just really playing as a team, I think, for us defensemen. Getting out of our zone quick is huge, um, breaking the puck out, and then when it comes to forwards, I think they we're, we're our best when you know they're they're working hard down low and, and using their skill to their advantage. And I think usually you see when we're when we're doing that, it, it gives us a chance to win and puts us in a in a good place for for success. So I think it's just focusing on doing that, sticking to the little things, and, and making sure that we're ready to play. Going in goal for the Red Wings will be Jonathan Bernier, and he needs some goal support. And to speak more on that. Athanasiu couldn't get out of the zone, turn over in front and they score! Boy, that won't help Athanasiu's minus total at all. For Petrie, walks the line, takes the shot, he scores! What a goal. Yes, so. Wow. For Fabry. with him. There you go. Green joining, Fabry scores! Hit the lower left hand corner of the goal, beating Carey Price. Wings around the board, Montreal 2 with the Red Wings 1. There's the goal they needed. Phil Falluff skates over the blue line, drops it to Biega to Athanasiu, cuts out in front, he scores on the backhand. Andreas Athanasiu on his bobblehead night. Man, look at this, right in. Scores! There we go, there we go. Green tie game, 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> That's what those old videos will get you doing. Scoring goals, baby. Taken away by Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi right to the goal. Look at the back of the stop. They score! Up and a CU, it's four to three. Had a great third period at home and, and we built and uh, on from the first period we came in and uh, got an early goal in the second and, and you know I don't think we looked back from there so uh, even when it was 3-1 I feel like we had the game in our in our control. I, mean, I don't really you know pay attention to that too much I don't think uh, you know anyone in this room really pays attention to it I think it's uh, those things are out of our control and you know you just come in ready to work and you know the business side takes care of it and you know you just got to come on and come on the ice and just you know play hockey. A few days later at the NHL trade deadline Steve Eiserman makes a move with former Red Wings GM Ken Holland, now with the Edmonton Oilers. Detroit acquires two second round picks and forward Sam Gagne in exchange for Andreas Athanasiu and Mike Green. The Wings also claim promising forward Dimitro Timishov from the Toronto Maple Leafs off waivers. We're obviously not going to make the playoffs this year, so that's really dictated what we did here. And then ultimately, you have to decide, you know, who, who are we going to keep? And, and if we're going to move guys, we're not going to move just for the sake of moving them. We need to, you know, weigh off what the, what the return is for each player. And ultimately, obviously, the return was two second-round picks, and we felt that was a, a good value here for what we're trying to do. It's obviously pretty exciting, I think. Um, you know, there's a certain uh, aura to being a, a Red Wing. And, you know, growing up uh, not far from here uh, in Ontario, I think, uh, you understand um, what it means to be a Red Wing and there's a lot of history here and uh, when I first came to the league the Joe was one of the hardest rinks to go into and there was just so much talent and they played the game the right way and stories about you know what it meant to be part of this organization so once I you know processed all that I, I was pretty excited and I'm um, just looking forward to the opportunity. I saw kind of the a lot of the downswing in Edmonton, and then um, obviously you know you got some more high-end skill there now. But at the same time, I think it's an attitude shift and uh, it's mental. And I, I think uh, if you can build on that during tough times and, and learn how to handle adversity, uh, it goes a long way uh, towards uh, the future. So what is it that happens when the puck drops? It just seems recently the past few games, you guys can't get out of your zone the first 10, 12 minutes of the game. Yeah, it's just, I don't know for, for what reason, it seems like we have the puck on our stick. Something goes wrong, uh, we give it up, or you know, it just something goes wrong and then it, it, it just gets worse from there, it seems, and I've never seen anything like it. Uh, 
I don't know what it is, but uh, you know, it just seems like when when things go wrong for us, they're catastrophic, and and we can't come back from it. And and you know, I think uh, we've tried to to talk that these last games are, are to show people what we're made of, and and it can't be that with with the two efforts we've had the last two nights since the trade deadline. Yeah, I was really excited. You know, it's still sad to leave my you know. Toronto where I was drafted and played for five years. I'm happy to get a new opportunity and you know get a little bit more ice time hopefully. So uh, coming here just I'm just gonna work hard and I know how the season's been here so just be you know spread the positive energy and you know work hard. Timoshaw weaving his way into the Ottawa zone for his third goal. Picked off by Timoshaw lead pass Biega. He's right in and a save made by Holberg. The only other game in the NHL tonight is Edmonton at Nashville when Colorado just beat in Music City Saturday 3-2. I just think you have to take practice by practice, game by game and just put everything behind and try to win the next game, you know, try to be a little bit better next practice like and still staying positive, trying to like just forget all those stuff and just work hard and you know, if you work hard, take you to the next level. You know, my first year as the head coach was the first year that we hadn't traded uh, for anybody at the deadline. We were, we were in the playoff race, we obviously made the playoffs, but we didn't add anybody. And it was the first year we hadn't given away assets to add anybody. And when you go over the course of 20 plus years of, of giving assets away, uh, you what you end up with is a, a bit of a, a bare cupboard. And it's just the reality of the situation. And so as we've gone through the last number of years, uh, you know, we've traded away some, some good NHL players, and, and rightly so. We, we've done it with the idea of we don't want to be an okay team. We want to build towards being the championship level team that we want, that uh, the, the Detroit Red Wing fan base wants. And, and to do that, uh, a number of times you got to take steps backwards and take steps forwards. And, and, you know, we're seeing that today. That's the reality of today is if you look back over the last five years, we've, we've, we've done that. We've, we've made moves uh, to help us in the long term, not necessarily help us in the short term. Do we want more wins than we've had this year? 100%. Do, do, is it an excuse to have the number of wins that we have? No chance. Both Ken and, and Steve have done absolutely the right things to put us on course for a better tomorrow. Uh, you just got to fight through today and it's not always easy to fight through today but you got to, my job is, is not to worry about that. My job is to go out every day, try to make our players the very best they can become. In particular, our young players have to grow and have to get better and sometimes that's shows and uh, things like points, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's becoming better defensively. It's becoming you know, more complete players. It's becoming players that when this team's ready to win, they're gonna be impact and help us win.